everyone it's Ross uh, in today's video I want to talk about the most important things when rooting figs there's three things I want to mention they're my top three tips uh, we're going back to basics if you don't have these three things if you even set up the right environment you're wasting your time everything else is kind of just like whatever there's a million ways to do the same thing which is literally sticking a fig cutting in soil there's a million ways to do that but you need three things regardless of how you do this without a doubt the first thing I want to mention is lights now we need to somehow mimic the Sun and it's real simple to get these shop lights guys I want to show them to you I've shown these plenty of times but you can get this particular fixture here from Lowe's $16 it's a four foot shop light bulb. It comes with these things here to help hang it, the hooks. Um, it also has a plug. You can just plug it in right away and use it. You don't need to be an electrician. You don't need to have a uh, know how to change a ballast. You don't need to be handy. You just need to find this fixture. And this is a real standard size, which is four feet. Now I get the fixture that holds T8 sized bulbs. The T8 sized bulbs, this is what they look like. And I'm really paying attention to, and I'm choosing the bulb, you don't necessarily need a grow bulb. You need a bulb that has the right color temperature. Because again, we're trying to mimic the sun. The sun puts out a spectrum of color. And each spectrum of color, or I should say each color, does a different thing for these plants. Realistically, they need a full spectrum, which is what the sun does. But to get them to grow, we really only need a certain color, which is that morning sun. The afternoon sun really helps these things flower or fruit. You know, it's a bit warmer, as an example. Kind of like the lights in your house, right? It mimics that afternoon sun. Well, these here kind of mimic the morning sun, and these are 4100K. They're actually directly smack dab in the Kelvin scale, right in the middle. And these are the ones I recommend. Um, you don't need to get real fancy, right? You can do all kinds of combinations with bulbs, really maximize the growth. But for me, this is really cheap to get a, a $16 fixture. And then I get some two bulbs in here for 10 bucks, maybe even less than that. If you buy them in bulk, like I did, because I got six fixtures here. So I bought 12 bulbs in a box, and they were even cheaper than $10. So realistically, I'm not really spending all that much money. I probably spent about $22 maybe per fixture. And then I'm set, right? So that's the most important thing. The second most important thing, and the second tip here, is that we gotta focus on soil moisture, okay? So when I put this cutting into the soil, this is the direct potting method that I use. It doesn't matter what method it is. You gotta have the moisture correct from the beginning. And it has to be consistent throughout this entire process. Even when we get down to here, when things are really starting to go crazy, and even when we go outside, when things are in one gallon size pots fully rooted or even in larger pots, even in the ground. People always ask me, when do I water my fig cuttings? You water them to keep the soil moisture moist, not wet, not dry. There is no time. There's no two weeks that goes by and you say, okay, two weeks went by, I got to water. You have to come into the soil here, dig around a little bit, and figure out if it's moist. It's really that simple. So that's number two. The third and probably the most overlooked thing, which really annoys me, because people go into this thinking they can do this, but they don't really do the research first. They just go head first and think it's easy. But it's not. You need to have the right temperature. And this is why I have a thermometer, okay? This thing costs maybe five, ten dollars off Amazon, all right? You get this thing, you stick it in your grow room or wherever it is that you're thinking about growing these cuttings. And if this thing doesn't say 70 or higher, just forget about it. Just don't even do it. 
I promise you, we need to get the right environment, okay? We need to have the right lights, we need to have the right moisture, we need to have the right temperature. It's the same thing as outside, right? What temperature outdoors do figs grow the best? Well, probably around 75, 80 degrees, I would say. They really put out lots of good growth at those temperatures. I would say even growth is probably even accelerated, maybe even at 85 and 90. Once we get above 90, things really start to slow down because it's a little too hot. So you want to focus on staying somewhere in that range, right? Somewhere between 70 to 85. I would say if you're at 65 or 60, your figs will grow, but they won't really grow very quickly. And you're going to be sitting here thinking, what the hell did I do wrong, right? Well, you don't have the right temperature. So that's the point I'm trying to make here. And I want to show you guys a little bit of a example here of how I'm using the different temperatures in this closet to my benefit. Now I can close this closet door um, and it can get real hot in here if I want it, which we have. We've closed the door for the past couple hours before I started filming. And right now in this particular location, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The combination between the lights, the heat that's getting trapped in this closet because it's enclosed, it's insulated. We're also in the basement where it's actually quite warm in my house. We're at 72 degrees just in the basement. Now, if I were to take this thermometer here, place this down at the bottom, in this row, it would be actually 79. Three degrees cooler than it is up here. If I were to take this and put it up here, it's actually going to be 91 degrees, believe it or not, because the heat rises, okay? So what does this mean, right? How do I know this? Why can I use this information by advantage? Well, the cuttings up here haven't really done anything. Um, they've been kind of sitting around for about a month, month and a half. This, these two right here are really great examples. Even this one here, I got a couple back in here that really haven't done much. But here's what we're doing. We're sticking them up here to give them a little bit of extra heat. You know, kind of shocking them in a certain way. Really putting them out of their element. Maybe they've been a little bit dormant. Maybe they just haven't done their thing. They need some little, they need a smack on the back of the head. You know what I mean? So we're going to put them here, give them that extra temperature, maybe for about a week. And I guarantee that these things are really going to start showing some progress. Okay, they're going to start leafing out. The buds are going to start swelling and you're going to see some root growth. Now, if I wanted things to stay a little bit smaller, well, I'm going to put them down here. Because I, I can't really handle if these trees get too big, right? I got to ship them. I got to... Um, I can only have so much space here. I only have three feet that these things can reach, right? Another three feet up to the next shelf. So if I don't want them to grow nearly as fast, which I'm sure many of you don't have that problem, then maybe I'll put them down on the floor level. And if I were to keep this door open, the temperatures in here would dramatically change. Down at the bottom would be about 73, 74 degrees. And this midsection here would probably be about 77 degrees. And then up in here would only be about 81. So because of that, and I know this, I can then really create different environments for my figs. Having trouble rooting particular varieties, move them around. Put them in a different environment. Give them a little bit more heat. Maybe you should plug in the heat mat, right? So that's the point of this video. Um, I don't mean to come off a little bit angry or anything, but I am a little sick and tired of kind of hearing the same questions when it, it really is just basics. These are the three basic things. You need lights, the right soil moisture, and the right temperature. If you got that, you guys are going to be real happy. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this one. Again, this is all a part of the Rooting Figs playlist that I've created for you all. Go and watch them. Um, if you're not satisfied with this video, you're not convinced, go back. You can see this entire process from beginning to the current point in which we're at. All right. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.